Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros for CDA 3100 Computer Organization 1, and what I'd like to do today is continue our Logisim tutorial uh, and uh, teach you how to create circuits. So let me just go ahead and put that up here. We'll just say, let me spell it right, creating a circuit. All right, very good. Creating a circuit. Now, um, every Logisim project is actually a library of circuits. And in its simplest form, each project has only one circuit, what's called main, which we see up here uh, in our menu uh, up here. Uh, it's easy to add one. All right, all you have to do is select Add Circuit from the Project File. Let's go up here to Project, and we'll say Add a Circuit. And we'll give it a name. We'll call this a, um, a 2 colon 1 uh, MUX. Now I'm not going to use a multiplexer. I'm actually going to create one using AND and OR gates and NOT gates. So we'll say OK. So we'll go down into our MUX circuit right here. And now we're going to actually design the circuit ourselves. Good exercise to actually go through and do this. Um, all the practice you can get writing circuits is uh, good for you. So we'll do an AND, AND gate. Put an AND gate right there. And we'll put another one. Uh, we need an OR gate put all the gates out there first and we need a NOT gate and uh, we'll grab one up here and we'll put the NOT gate right right next to here and we'll draw that line we'll go through and connect these and you'll notice that whenever I'm doing this I have to um, uh, stop after my 90 degree turn and let up off on the mouse and then start over again so there's that. Now we're going to add our LED, and that is in output, the LED. And if you've watched my other videos, you know how obsessive I am about the color. So we'll change the color of the on to green. I like green as on, and I like red as off. Don't ask me why. All right. And then we'll go ahead and say OK there, and we'll connect those up make sure that they're oriented uh, properly. And we'll go ahead and put the orientations up here. We'll say this is uh, north, south, and east, and west. I put the orientations up there because it, it is important on some of the um, things that we add, how they're oriented, and I want you to, to see them, uh, how to do it properly. So now we've got our, our gates in there. Now we need to start adding our pins so they work properly. So that's in wiring. So we'll grab a pin. This allows us to toggle on and off. And I'll put a uh, pin right here and connect it. And I'll put another pin right here and connect it. Uh, I'll put another pin down here and this is our selector bit. We'll put it over here because we gotta go up and uh, we've got to change the orientation. See the little green arrow right there is to the right or the east. We need to change it to the north just to make it a little bit easier to go up in this direction. And that will be there. That'll go into the knot gate. And now we're going to connect it right here. We're going to connect it to this AND gate, and we're going to connect that wire. You have to put it right on top of it, and you'll see the little circle show up, and that shows that they're they're connected properly. All right, so there is our circuit. Uh, that is a uh, two-to-one MUX in its primitive form. Uh, let's go ahead and test it. We'll go to the poke tool, and we will turn the selector bit on to zero and we'll turn this on to one and we'll see it's turned on we'll turn this on to zero we'll turn it on to one we'll know that it comes off so that comes off so it all works uh, very well let's go ahead and put our labels in there so this is the um, um, this is the uh, select bit <coughs> And this is in zero. 
and this is in one so that's uh, when it's turned on to one this one comes in when it's turned on to zero this one comes in and this of course is our our output alright so we will save that and that is our uh, how to create a circuit let's go ahead and save that we'll save file save as okay okay example circuit and we'll make note of that on our little page right here we'll say uh, example circuit um, that's how you create a circuit now the next thing we want to do is how to use sub circuits and then how to edit sub circuits so that's our next lessons after that uh, on to the next lesson very good